Okay, and welcome back to the constructions test retake entry ticket. <coughs> so you need to construct all the constructions, and actually, you need to learn all the constructions on this paper to retake the test this Thursday and Friday. The first one is make an angle and copy it. So for that you will just make any angle. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And here, the, so on the test you will have an angle. But for this practice sampling paper, you need to make your own angle. And then we will now copy that angle. There's only a few steps. The first step is actually make a new ray. And now this is our new angle. But it's invisible because we don't know where the other part goes. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to take a measurement and apply the same measurement to the new angle. We're going to take a second measurement across the angle. So now my pin is going in here and I'm measuring to where it crosses there. Okay, this point and this point. Measure. So I have to I have to squeeze the you know your your compass might be big and you squeeze it down small till it is the same. Make the mark. Oh, perfect. That's the best one I've done all year. And then bring that over to the new spot. So if this is A, this is A prime. These dots are the same. Put the pin in. And if this is B, then this is B prime. And now we just need to connect this and that. Run through this a few times until you have it down. The next skill is bisect an angle. And for this you need to make an angle again. And now we're going to bisect it. The way you do that is by measuring out the angle two locations here and here and then you can make the compass a little bit bigger as long as you're not making a rhombus which we're not and now we will put the pin in this, those two locations and seek the center of the angle so we can tell that the, the middle of the angle is somewhere in here so we're trying to find that exact spot. By the way, every all these marks have to be there to receive full credit on the test, right? I need to see this arc. I need to see these arcs. You don't have to make the dots, but you need to make all the marks. Where two lines cross, that's a good enough point finder for me. You don't have to then like a dot. Okay. The next one is a parallelogram. And actually, most people got this on the test, so shouldn't be too difficult. You measure one side. Oops. Yeah, you can make that mark, actually. And then get the other length. Bring it up.
pretty good. I mean, it's got the relevant marks, so I'll take it. Next is the perpendicular bisector. So for this, you'll need to make a make a segment. Put it over here. And then you need to set the compass to at least halfway. So this won't work. This will work. Mark above, mark below, below, above and below the center. Well, which we don't know where it is exactly, but we the middle somewhere over here. So above there and below there need this curve. Some people just like to connect the whole curve. What's wrong with that? Again, above the center, below the center. We were putting the pin, the pins were in the ends. The compass was the same size on both sides. These two circles are the same. These two arcs are the, on the same radius. All right. Is the next one? Oh yeah, um, hexagon in a circle. Oh yeah. By the way, you should have two pieces of paper. Because your pin will stick better, and when you take the test, they give you a piece of paper to put under your test, so that your pin can stab in better. On the test, you have a circle provided for you. Uh, so on the test, and the circ and the center is provided for you. So you just put your ruler on the center, and then it doesn't matter where, as long as your ruler is pushed up against the center of the circle, you can make a diameter. That's one of your, those are two of your points of your hexagon. Now you must measure the radius. Hey, oh yeah, I just made this circle, so of course it's already set to the radius. Mark out two radii distances. Pin in. Oops. Two more radii distances. Except for that one little slip up, that's pretty good. 